Scientists are predicting a sweet crisis in about 30 years. Chocolate is on track to become extinct by 2050. Research shows that climate change is threatening the tree's habitat in Ghana and the Ivory Coast, which produces more than half the world's chocolate. If nothing is done to reverse the effects or save these trees, it could wipe out this sweet creation. WJZ is live. Tracy Leong is live now to explain how people are reacting. Tracy? Well, hello, Mary. As you can imagine, people are not happy, especially loyal Walk and Fuss customers. That's where we're at right now. And actually, 85% of their products are chocolate. So you know they're hoping scientists find a solution, and they find it soon. Chocolate seems to delight every palate it touches. It keeps me happy, and it tastes so good. Because it's so tasty. I hide all my chocolate so nobody in my house can have it. <laughs> a treat that is known to stir up emotions. Chocolate's supposed to give you the same sense as being in love. So the possibility of it going extinct is bitter news to swallow. We live and die on cocoa. President and owner of Walkenfuss Candies, Paul Walkenfuss, says it's in demand year round. The Baltimore based company has been making chocolate for more than a century. Oh, to me, it's one of the major food categories. <laughs> Inside their factory, endless sweets to satisfy every child or adult. Walk and Fuss goes through about 3,600 pounds of both milk and dark chocolate every week. So it's hard to imagine a factory or even a world without this main ingredient. Scientists say climate change is threatening to melt away this happiness, a scary reality some just can't digest. Kids love it. Adults love it more than the children. Without chocolate, I think we would have more problems. <laughs> I would feel sad. Researchers predict it could all come to an end by 2050. So consider yourself warned. And maybe it's time for us to stock up. There should be light. Load it up. Yeah. All good to go. Well, all day we've seen customers stocking up, loading up on all their chocolates. But, you know, a lot of them told us that they're staying positive. They know that scientists will hopefully find a solution because how can you ever lose chocolate, right? <laughs> Back to you, Mary. We all agree here. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> scientists are currently working on ways to adapt to this climate change to save those trees. My stomach is growling. <laughs> I am in the mood for some chocolate. That one woman had three full She's stocking up. <laughs> A lot of people stocking up at the grocery store, but not just for chocolate. Uh, well, chocolate will get you through, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Any snowstorm. Yeah. One item you had to live with, chocolate will probably this do it. This is true. You know? <laughs>